Hi guys, welcome to episode 110. Wild and free, baby, we can dream farther than our eyes have ever seen. I don't wanna grow. So we had a bit of a crappy day sailing. We were sailing into the wind, so we were tacking. Uh, Catalba doesn't tack very well, so it was a bit painful. We had the engine on a bit of most of the day, but um, we got into an anchorage before dark, so that is good news. And we just had dinner and we're getting ready for bed. But yeah, we were about to wash up and the pump on the taps died. So the other day when uh, something let loose in the, the engine, salt water got everywhere underneath the tap. And um, we thought it was on its way out and it just stopped. So it's a pain. We've now got no shower uh, or filter water. We've got to pump the water out, but we can still get water. So. Things could be worse, but at least not real excited about it. He's just ready for bed and now he's looking at the pump. Hopefully we can fix it. We've got a new one coming and we've ordered another one and Wendy's bringing it over, so. Lee managed to fix the pump so that we could manually turn it on when we needed. So to shower and wash up or get filtered water, we just have to switch the pump on, then turn it off every time. Which is better than it not working at all. What will we do without you, Lily? So tomorrow, is, uh, it's actually Father's Day tomorrow and we forgot, we didn't know and, and Lee still doesn't know. So we're going to not tell him and we're going to be super, super nice and say I love you every time I talk to him and massage him and just do... <laughs> some extra nice things and just see what he does, see if he notices or, or guesses what's going on. But um, yeah, don't tell him. Shh. Put anchor from our anchorage last night. Lee still doesn't have put sparkness to me. The kid's about to go up and give him like so much more love than usual and we're going to see if he notices. But um, I've just made some bread so I'm making breakfast and uh, I think we're heading to Northern Rights, which is about 20 nautical miles away. Hopefully we're not beaten into the wind today, so fingers crossed. Yeah, I forgot to say, I've seen a few um, tuna dumping out yesterday when we were coming in. Probably worth getting that lure out, eh? to make dad feel extra loved was in full swing. Oh my oven's dirty isn't it? Dad's special breakfast put together by me. Oh look at that for a captain's brekkie. We were punching into the wind a bit today, but it wasn't too bad. Mm, someone getting suspicious maybe? But definitely enjoying all the love this morning. The clouds rain beyond the mountain. Who 
You look like you're getting spoiled there, babe. You feel an extra love today? Reading his cards made with love for him. Don't bring this day The sun sounds Thank you, family. Plus, he got some pretty cute gifts too. Walls break, silence is free. And I saw your face a year ago So loud and Mario's And I got you a bag of nuts that you can eat I got some nuts while I'm sailing. Well, he's never allowed to eat the nuts because we save him for cooking. And he always gets in trouble because I find him with his hands in just eating handfuls at a time when I can make a meal out of it. So he's got his own nuts. I've got my own pickies. Nuts, I'm set. Did you have a suspicion at all? I just said he's the best. I thought you might have had a word to the kids and said, look, you're going to treat your father a bit nicer, but... <laughs> oh, happy Father's Day. We love you. Thank you. We arrived at Northern Rights Anchorage, but it was really rough and no surf, so we decided to push on to the next spot. I've been waiting long enough. This anchorage was full of fishing boats and nets. But what's interesting is the boats at all the different islands are completely different. I like these ones. And I like this guy with his matching hat. So we left our other anchorage this morning. It was only about five nautical miles away. So we've got here very quickly. And this is uh, Scar Reef, a little bingin surf spot. So. Look like there's much waves, but fingers crossed. So he's just looking at Overtel, following the charts as we come into Scar Reef. There's some white sandy beaches. <laughs> yes, and clear water. It was a beautiful anchorage. Went ashore to explore. Angel wings in the sky tonight. I'm sitting on the rock and watch the heron fly. Ashore at Scar Reef had a handful of accommodation places and restaurants with yummy food and lovely, friendly people. It has been such a beautiful. The waves were very small, but from above, the reef looked amazing. Let's burn one down and slow. So we're at Samoa, Scar Reef, and it's Little Bingham over here. Scar Reef breaks over here. There is very, very tiny surf. And, um, I think we're going to head off today before the wind comes up because it's been 
Those strong winds pick up about 10, 11. And we're gonna go into the wind. So, not very far, but we're gonna head off soon. Had to pull anchor here at Scar Reef in Samboa and head to Super Sucks. It's only about 10 nautical miles away and uh, we're just gonna head off before the wind picks up because we're going into the wind. And I love the adventures that I have. I just like to have a place to... So we've arrived at Maluk Anchorage. We anchored out a bit further to start with, but it was a bit rolly, so we've moved in closer. And, um, yeah. Looks like a nice town. Water's beautiful. And there's a little bit of surf. You can see where the surf breaks are. So there's two surf breaks. One is... What's the surf break? Super suck. Super sucks. Super suck. Super suck surf break is here. And then there's another one over to our the right side of us. The waves weren't really big enough to surf, so we headed for a spearfish instead. The next morning there were still no waves, so we went to town to hire some bikes and go exploring. I'm down, I've got nowhere to go. The sun and the moon are my only friends. So Short letter just to let you know that I would like you to be my home and take you everywhere I go. So if you come with me, I'll never leave you alone. And if we find a place to build our home and tell our friends the stories of our journey, please come with me. And now. Just that I just have. like to have a place to I just like to have a place to We arrived and we were a little bit disappointed but made the most of our time here. My story. I'd really like someone to call me back now. Yes, I'd really like someone to call me, call back. me back now. Next time I pack my I'm packing my bag. Bella not quite sure if she wanted the fish touching her. Love the adventures that I have. I just like someone to hold my hand. Been to waterfall here in uh, Samboa. It wasn't as spectacular as the photo looked, but um, I think you've got to come in the wet season. <laughs> we were hoping for a crystal clear pool at the bottom of the waterfall, which it told us, but bit green and stagnant and uh, not much water coming off the waterfall but we saw some monkeys had a little bit of a pedicure from some fish and um, yeah, it was nice we headed back on our bikes it was super dry here but still pretty driving through the quiet roads Drone, you're getting on my nerves. Get out of here. All right, all right. We're going, mate. Don't worry. Back to town and time for some food. These little balls were so yum. They were made from sesame seeds and I think they had tahini in the middle. Pretty sure this guy's made a few in his time. Uh, bisa bikin. Uh, bisa bikin. Bisa. Bikin. 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 Yeah. The kids wanted a treat after dinner. Not sure what they call them, but Taj and Bella call them Milo Bowls. It's ice with some kind of chocolate sauce, some nuts, Cocoa Crunch cereal, Milo, chocolate sprinkles, Oreos, and cheese. Wait, wait, no, 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 
No cheese, please. Is that cheese? Is that cheese? Yeah. T-Duck cheese? t duck Okay. It was actually pretty delicious. Minus the cheese. Hey guys, so that was episode 110. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah, thanks heaps for watching. If you want to uh, give us a thumbs up, that'd be pretty rad, wouldn't it? Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Click the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, guys, that would be even more awesome. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and uh, click that little bell. Yeah, click the bell because that will notify you when our new movies are up so you can watch them. If you want to see where we are in real time, you can go follow us on our Instagram or Facebook at Salem Catelpa. A massive thank you to all of you for watching. Also want to give a big shout out to all those people that um, have donated lately into our PayPal account. Thank you so much for that. And also to our patrons. Without you guys, as I always say, these videos definitely wouldn't be possible so we really appreciate each and every one of you if you want to uh, head to over to our patreon page see what it's all about you can go to the link that is down below we hope you all have a beautiful afternoon bye see you next time bye guys we just want to say a massive thank you to all our patrons because without you guys these videos wouldn't be possible it all comes all thanks to you all to y'all